going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create an instant replay effect in Vegas Pro 14. Now I'm going to be starting this off in Photoshop and the reason for that is because I've created these for you. Now it might look a bit confusing but let me explain very quickly. You pick which one you like. Now any one you like, so one of the three. So the one at the top, the one on the left or the one down here. Then if your instant replay is going to be on the right hand side as you can see over in the folders, I've labeled them left and right. So if you want the right hand side ones, these are them right here. Then let's say you want this one up here. So you uncheck number one and that one goes and then you're left with this. Then once you have selected what you like, come to file, save as. I'm going to put this on my desktop and you want to make sure it's saved as a PNG. You can call this instant replay. Now I made all these myself and a download link to this will be in the description for you. So now we're in Vegas Pro 14. So this is when I was bottle flipping with a clone and it's my tutorial from uh, Premiere Pro on how to clone. You can check it out in the description. And as you'll see, uh, well, you won't be able to see it, but I got like four in a row. So we're going to instant replay that. So right now, this is the normal video. And then this is where I fail. And then I've already copy and pasted that specific part back here. Because we want the attention on me up here and because I get all the bottle flips, I'm going to come to the pan and crop and with this we can zoom into that area like so. So now we have that as you can see this means we need the instant replay either from the top or the left. So we're going to head to Photoshop again. So we don't need the one on the right we need the one on the left and I'm going to use this exact one again so I'm going to come to file save as. Again as a PNG I'll overwrite this one here and from my desktop I'm going to drag and drop this onto Vegas there we go just above and I'm going to extend this all the way out. As you'll see this is what we get. So it's just going to be there and this is what it's going to look like at the moment. It's just going to appear. So it looks pretty boring. Let's make this slide in. Now since we have this on the left hand side we need it to slide in from the left. So we're going to come to transitions. If you don't see it come to view, windows layout and select default layout. Then from here we're going to find linear wipe which is right here and as you can see the default one is left to right but if you come down or if you come here as you can see it's right to left so if you chose the right side it's right there so I'm going to drag and drop this at the start and now this is going to give us a wipe in so if I just play this it's going to wipe in like that and it's pretty quick so if we extend it it'll make it last longer so if I play this now just like that it's going to wipe in and it's going to stay there now the next thing, let's say you want the video to be black and white. So we're going to come to video effects for this. We're going to come to black and white and we can just drag and drop this on that video. As you can see that goes to black and white but this remains in colour and we can keep it in colour as well. It's completely optional if you want that in black and white as well. Drag and drop the black and white onto the instant replay. Now one last way I'm going to be showing you is how to make this instant replay sign flicker. So I'm going to take this off. And now I'm going to shorten this all the way down and I'm not too sure how short but let's work it out. I'm going to have it on that long so I'm going to press Control C. I'm going to come across 12 frames and then I'm going to press Control V to paste it in like that. Then I'm going to do the same again so I'm going to come across uh, 12 keyframes and then paste it in again. But this time I'm going to left click, hold Control, select this one and then press Control C. And now if I come across 12 keyframes and press Control V it pastes both of them in. This time I'm going to select all of them, so I have 4, press Control C and then when I come across 12 keyframes again and paste it in, it's then going to allow me to paste 4 at a time. Okay, there we go, I'm done. As you can see it comes off the edge, we'll just shorten this down. And this is what it should look like. So I've picked a 12 frame gap, I'm not too sure how this is going to look. The length of... Um, the instant replay sign itself is is seven frames. So that's seven frames, then we have a 12 second gap, and then another seven frames, a 12 second gap. So let's play this through now. So just from here. As you can see, it's flashing. It's pretty fast, probably too fast. So probably stick to around 10 frames for the instant replay button and then maybe 15 to 20 frames for the gap in between. But that is how simple it is to create an instant replay effect in Vegas Pro 14. Remember, a download link to the pack will be in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.
this town